Hey, social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever this video goes. Um, so today marks one week since I've got that atrocious haircut and uh, my hair is growing back pretty good. So you're starting to not see the flaws, at least on this side. Um, but I'm doing a video today because I have been receiving like so many messages via YouTube, so many messages, um, inboxes, asking to please, please, please do a tutorial on your hair color. You're always wearing hair color. So I'm not going to do a tutorial on how I color my hair because if you're following me on YouTube, then you already know the colors that I use, which is the Adore. I use nothing but these. This is all I use, Adore. This is baby blue. And this is lavender here. So I only use Adore. However, for those of you that always email me saying that you love the colors, but you're not bold enough to try it or you don't think you can get away with it, I'm going to show you how to achieve um, some of the colors that I rock in my hair. And I'm going to show you how to achieve it. It's going to be like a DUI. It's very um, cost efficient, so you probably, I'm sure, have some of the things at your house already. You're not going to need to go out and purchase anything. Um, and definitely, it's a fun project or whatever. You'll be able to go ahead. I'm sorry, my hair itched. You'll be able to go ahead and achieve um, the look of having like ombre or streaks and things like that without having to go to a salon and spend all your money. So all you're going to need is one thing, and that's an eyeshadow. I highly recommend and suggest that you do use an eyeshadow that is um, has a very high pigment because when you do, it shows a lot better. So this company that I'm going with here is by Clean Color, and um, it has some very gorgeous colors in there. It has a teal a blue, um, a light purple, a dark purple. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I'm going to start with the purple. And what you want to do is just rub rub it on there, get it, get it on your fingers. And, and this is what you do with black hair. I mean, you could try it with any hair color, but I really like it with the black because it looks a lot more realistic. It looks really believable. And it doesn't look like a spray paint because for those of you who know that the spray paint, you know, when you use that spray paint, I don't know, I just don't like, and I'm gonna probably go ahead and ombre this. I don't like that spray paint look, how it looks all um, chalky and stuff like that. I can't stand that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do like a lot of pieces, but I'm not gonna do it all on camera. So, um, I mean, you can kind of see the gist of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just periodically, sporadically just putting purple on certain ends. I'm not using too much. And there is no correct way to do this. You just pick up pieces and go ahead and highlight where you want it to be. Highlight, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and this is going to probably be about enough purple. I'm going to start going ahead and using some um, of the teal once I get enough purple and I'll be back. And you see how I'm blending it so it doesn't look like a harsh line and you don't like have a line of demarcation. It just like smoothly blends in. So you want to make sure that you put your bottom color first. That way you can go ahead and smudge your top color into the bottom color and it'll look subtle with a nice ombre. Now I'm not going to do my whole head guys for time's sake, so I'm going to go off camera and probably add a little bit of blue up here and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is my finished product here. 
And um, I will say for those of you who want it to be a little more intense, you can wet the, the um, your finger and get the eyeshadow to like deepen. Like I'll show you here. I just wet this. I don't know if you can that's like a light blue that's this light blue and when I wet it it's it's gotten a little darker so definitely if you want it to be a little bit more intense you can wet the strand of your hair and then get the eyeshadow and apply it or vice versa okay guys so um hope you guys appreciate this video For those of you who have been asking me about color because I'm all about healthy hair I don't want anybody to damage their hair with bleaching it so you may as well go ahead and rock these shadows. It's very pretty. Thanks for watching. Bye.